वेलकम बैक टू मेरी क्लास जिंजेवेक्टमी इंक्रीज इन साइज ऑफ जिंजेवा इज अ पैथोलॉजिक क्लिनिकल फाइंडिंग इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज जिंजेवल एनलाजमेंट और जिंजेवल ओवरग्रोथ इट कैन अकर ड्यू टू कॉजेस लाइक क्रॉनिक जिंजेवाइटिस ड्रग्स सिस्टमिक कंडीशन सिस्टमिक डिसीज लाइक ल्यूकीमिया हेरिडेटरी कंडीशन लाइक जिंजेवल फाइब्रोमैटोसिस द कॉम्प्लिकेशन एसोसिएटेड विद जिंजेवल एनलाजमेंट कुड बी पॉकेट फॉर्मेशन अनस्थेटिक अपियरेंस डिफिकल्टी इन मेंटेनिंग द ओरल हाइजीन जिंजेक्टमी इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द एक्सीजन ऑफ द जिंजेवा इट इज ऑल्सो अ पॉकेट एलिमिनेशन सर्जिकल टेक्निक द एम ऑफ जिंजेवेक्टमी इज टू प्रोवाइड विजिबिलिटी एंड एक्सेसिबिलिटी फॉर कंप्लीट कैलकुलस रिमूवल एंड थरो रूट प्लेनिंग अ फेवरेबल एनवायरमेंट फॉर जिंजेवल हीलिंग इज अचीव एंड रेस्टोरेशन ऑफ अ फिजिकल जिंजेवल कॉन्टूर इज पॉसिबल It also helps in elimination of the pocket. Robisek in eighteen eighty four suggested that gingivectomy is a surgical alternative to the blind subgingival scaling for pocket therapy. Grant in nineteen seventy nine defined gingivectomy as the excision of soft tissue wall of a pathologic periodontal pocket, along with gingival recontouring. Robisek in nineteen eighty four introduced the continuous incision for the gingivectomy procedure. Zentla in 1918 suggested the scalloped incision for gingivectomy. Indications for gingivectomy are treatment of drug-induced gingival overgrowth, gingival fibromatosis, supra bony pocket elimination, supra bony pocket that needs access for restorative dentistry, and in case of anesthetic gingival display like the gummy smile or altered passive eruption. Contraindications to gingivectomy are when there is access needed to bone in presence of infra bony defects, presence of narrow zone of keratinized tissue, in case of aesthetics mainly the maxillary anterior area, patients with high postoperative risk of bleeding, and those with severe gingival inflammation. The types of gingivectomy include the materials used to perform the procedure, surgical technique, electro surgery. laser technique or chemo surgery instruments used to perform gingivectomy include the periodontal probe for assessment of the pocket depth the kirkland and the obens knife for excision number 15 blade curette for scaling and root planing electrocautery tips soft tissue laser and tissue nippers for gingival recontouring The steps in gingivectomy are step 1 achieving local anesthesia of the necessary area of treatment it is followed by probing depth and pocket marking using the crane kaplan pocket marker step 3 involves excision of the tissue using a kirkland and an orbent knife alternatively a number 15 blade can be used an incision is given a pickle to the bleeding point at the level between the base of the pocket and the crest of the alveolar bone This is the external bevel incision. Step four involves tissue removal with the use of a scaler or curette. Step five involves scaling and root planing to remove any calculus that is present underneath the gingival tissue. Step six involves recontouring the tissue using the electrocautery tips, tissue nippers, and rotary burrs. The final step involves placement of periodontal dressing to protect the raw wound. healing after gingivectomy the initial response after gingivectomy procedure is the formation of the protective blood surface clot it is followed by the presence of acute inflammation and necrosis underlying this tissue after 24 hours new connective tissue cells mainly the angioblasts are seen the epithelial cell migration from margins over the granulation tissue is seen and the peak activity is at 24 to 36 hours The epithelial cells migrate from the basal and the deeper spinous layers. On day three, young fibroblasts are seen, and formation of gingival margin and sulcus is evident due to the coronal growth of the vascular granulation tissue. On fourth day, there is decrease in the vasodilation and vascularity. After two weeks, capillaries from the periodontal ligament blood vessel they anastomose with the gingival vessels by migration into the granulation tissue. On day five to fourteen, 
the surface epithelization is complete. It takes one month to cause complete epithelial repair and after seven weeks, complete connective tissue repair occurs. So to summarize, gingivectomy is a procedure of excising overgrowth of gingiva. It involves use of Kirkland knife or number 15 blade to give the external bevel incision. This is followed by removal of interdental tissue using the Auburn's knife, recontouring using tissue nippers and the rotary instruments. A draw wound is formed that is completely scaled and plain and placement of periodontal dressing is followed. This is the post-operative view. You can find the link to MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel for more videos and hit the notification bell for update on new videos. So see you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.